Hey, Mark Rice here and today we are going to blow up creativity in this last part. In this part I will draw the enemy and I need to provide some space for him. So I will move some elements here. Ok, this is the space where I will create the enemy. Here I have so many details and I think it is better to create the enemy in a new file and copy it later back here. Ok, I decided to create a green monster, so I will pick this green color from my palette. Basic shape of the monster will be made from a round rectangle. After that I will draw a mouth. The enemy will have a few characteristic parts of the body and this big mount will be one of these parts. I will use the rectangle tool for the first part of the mount. The color will be a bit darker. I am drawing the tongue using the ellipse tool. Now it is time for big fat green lips. Yeah! Ok, monster is nothing without big and scary teeth. So I will make this teeth using the round rectangle tool. This monster is everything on his way, I mean everything, and that includes stones and bones too. So you can notice that he was missing some teeth. I finished the teeth and now I will draw a nose. It will be simple, made just from a few circles. Ok, the nose is finished. It is time for eyes. I want to achieve scary look so the eyes will be black with the red pebbles. Ok, I think that these eyes are enough scary. The mouth can be a bit bigger. The second recognizable part of the monster are horns. The horns will be made from an outline. Like I said, I want to achieve this scary look, so I need huge horns. I finished one horn and now I will just copy it for another. The horns will be very light, so I will create the background with the same color like I have in the game. In that way everything will be easier to work with. Ok, now I can make it white. Cool, I like it. I will increase the basic shape of the body a bit and I will change the position of the horns. I am very satisfied with the horns, but if I create one more on the top of the head, I think it can look very cool. Yes, I like it. And now it is time for arms and legs. So I will start with the front arm. I finished one arm and I will use it for another arm. The back arm will be a bit darker because I want to achieve deep of the field. The arms are done and now it's time for legs. They will be very simple. Ok, the monster is finished. It is cool and I want to add some final touch and achieve even better look. So I just need to add a few small details. In this case it will be a skin and bones texture. I will make it from circles. At 
then they need to add the shadow and my monster will be ready for his first battle. Okay, I will place it here. The last part is done. This was a great experience and this is only warming up. So stay tuned and subscribe because the best is yet to come. Peace.